guys, welcome Reptiles here. Um, I was just thinking about it at the time. Um, the, this is going to be a video of um, um, leopard gecko shedding tips. Uh, shedding comes uh, very stressful, especially for the owner and the gecko. Um, here with the gecko we have here today, this is Ice, my um, high yellow jungle leopard gecko. He is just about to shed. You can see him. See his skin right there. He's just about to shed today, actually. And some sh sh just some shedding tips because a lot of first timers they have leopard geckos when they first shed. Um, it gets kind of stressful, and you worry that your gecko is going to die. But actually, it's not that stressful. And here's some ways that you can um, aid your gecko in shedding. Um, like um, like I said, the gecko we have here today is just about to shed. Kind of looks like a ghost. Is really pale and ugly and doesn't really look really good. Sorry about that. He was having a time. What the gecko we have here today? Um, some shredding tips you can use would be um to kind of create a box like this. This is about a 16 quart tub, and just kind of um put a paper towel on the bottom. I don't know if you can see this. Put a paper towel on the bottom, and then put a kind of a hide in there, like a homemade kind of made hide, and then um. You're gonna put a um. You're gonna mist it, so you can see all the water droplets in there. You're gonna mist it a lot, and it, the humidity will raise up, and it'll aid in the uh, gecko skin coming off. It'll uh, be a lot easier for that. Um, just go ahead and put him in there for about 10-15 minutes. Try to have a little bit warm water when you mist it, as you can. You want to use a when you want to use mister. You want to have a mister kind of like this, especially for reptile. <laughs> and you want to mist it and you want to make sure that the water is kind of sort of warm. Um, other things you can do when he starts to shed and his skin starts to come off, he's going to look irritated and he's going to try to eat it. And eating's okay. If he eats it, that's good. It's calcium from his body. They're supposed to do that. If he doesn't eat it, that's fine. Just remove it from the tank. Um, if, if you see him having trouble, especially with his um, head, the top of the head it has a lot of parts with, do not remove it unless you're absolutely sure it's off. Because if you peel it off that skin, it's kind of like peeling human skin off. It still hurts, even though it's skin, it still hurts. Um, so don't pull it off. Put him in the um, tub, as we, um, as I just told you, and then afterwards, try to take it off. But even if you do it, do it very slowly, and if it appears to be hurting him, just leave him be. Because these geckos, when they're out in the wild, they somehow manage to get it off all by themselves. So they can get it off all by themselves, especially if you have a nice setup like this one. And then you also can also have a hide that's in the tank always. It looks kind of like this. Spray that and mist it and put a napkin in there, a paper towel, and he, uh, he can go in there and drink from the sides and lick it and um, aid in shedding like that. Humidity helps their skin come off. Also, if you handle them, uh, skin uh, comes easier in shedding. And that's pretty much it with about shedding. And um, that's how to aid your gecko and uh, uh, leopard gecko shedding tips. If you have any questions or comments on this video, um, if you have trouble with your uh, leopard gecko shedding, I've had ice for a long time now, and I'm pretty sure I can answer that. Uh, leave a comment on this video, send me a personal message, and, or a uh, comment on my website, rockinreptiles.webs.com. Go ahead and subscribe for more informational videos like this one. Rockin' Reptiles, signing off.